What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Sony's new update that will be coming out later this year to PS4 and PS5. But there's some really big changes. This should go out in the kind of beta test form today or tomorrow. So if you actually got selected for that, you should be getting some information about when you can download this very soon. The biggest thing that I took I kind of took, took away from this, uh, there's a lot of information here, but one of the bigger things is they're going back to kind of that older party system, it seems. Let's go ahead and hop right into it and go over all the details. They said this will be coming out you know, later this year, no specific date just yet. But it says, in response to community feedback, they have made some updates to the party system. There will be open and closed parties again on PS4 and PS5, and this will be a beta version right now that they're testing. It says when you start a party, you can select either an open party or a closed party. An open party lets your friends see and join you without an invite. Friends of those party members can also join. A closed party is for invite only. Pretty much like it used to be on PS4 before, you know, the new update came out and they changed everything before the PS5 was released to the party system we have now. Now, I'm not sure if the old party system is still going to be there. They kind of talk about some things with that in a little bit later to kind of down in the information. But I just want to let you guys know it seems like they have been listening to the community and they're looking to change the party system back to its original form, which was a lot better in a lot of people's opinion. I prefer the older system. I've kind of gotten used to the new system, but the older system, in my opinion, is still a little bit better. They're also going to add some new features for voice chat reporting. If you need to report someone on PS5, this is going to be PS5 only. They're also going to add some new options for SharePlay on PS5. To start SharePlay directly from your voice chat card, you no longer need to start SharePlay first to use SharePlay. So you'll actually be able to do it just from a card from individual players. Now they're going to add a feature to PS4 that they have, of course, now on PS5. You will now be able to individually adjust the voice chat volume of each player in a party on PS4, just like you can on the PS5 system. So if you have a PS4, uh, there's a neat thing here on PS5 that I really enjoy. You can go in when you're in a party and go to each individual person and kind of turn down or up their volume, kind of like you would on Discord if you ever use Discord. And I really do like this feature on PS5, and I think a lot of PS4 uh, people will be happy to... Uh, be able to have this as well. Some other things they're doing for PS5 voice chats can now be called parties. So you know, for ease or, uh, for ease of access or easier access, they divided the game base menu into three tabs: friends, parties, and messages. So it seems like the you know party kind of option is going to be back. It seems like all the old party system is kind of being added back in. This is from the ba uh, game base control menu and cards. You can now view all your friends under the friends tab in the control menu or access the player search feature in friend request through links on this tab. So hopefully that's going to be a bit easier now to navigate your friends list on PS5. And they also added a player to a group uh, to add a player to a group or create a new group directly from the game base in the control center. You also can send text messages, quick messages, images, video clips, and view a group shared media from this card. So I'm not quite sure if the old party system we have right now that's kind of the group system is going to be still there and you can still you know communicate with a large group of people and you know just not in voice chat or if they're still going to have the option to use the old voice chat system you know they're adding back in and the new system as well or if they're going to kind of tie them together they really didn't go into great detail about that i'm really going to be interested to see how this is going to work because the way this sounds it sounds like they're going back to the older party system but you still be able to create a group if you want to talk with a you know a larger number of your friends and kind of share information or you know photos whatever the case may be when someone in a party is sharing their screen you will now see a own air uh, icon also they made it easier to decline friend requests by adding a decline button to your friend request list that is for ps5 as well it is kind of hard right now to, or not hard but a little more challenging i guess you would say to kind of decline a friend request on ps5 it's just not easy to get to so they're going to kind of fix that within the ui also, they're going to add a filter by genre, so you can add an option to filter your game collection by genre. Also, you can now keep the games or apps you choose on your home screen by selecting Keep at Home with the Options button, and you can keep a maximum of five games and app, apps on each home screen with this feature, which is a great thing in my opinion because I'm not a big fan of how the PS5's home screen is set up right now, uh, depending on you know what games you have downloaded directly to your PS5, not like your extended hard drive or anything. It shows a lot of those games up on the screen, even though you might not, might not be playing some of them at that particular time. And I would like an option to only have what I'm playing and the things I want on the dashboard. That was one thing PS4 did well, uh, with some, uh, or Sony did well on the PS4 over its life cycle, was giving us more options to kind of update and change how we wanted that dashboard to look to be more kind of personalized to you individually. Also, they can, they're going to give an option to increase apps on screen. You can now have a total of 14 games and apps appear on your home screen at any time if you would like. Also, they've updated the visual design of the trophy cards for PS5. 
the start share screen from the creator menu. Uh, from the create menu, you can now start a share screen and stream your gameplay to an open party if you prefer on PS5. Also, more screen reader languages will be added on PS5 and the mono audio headphones for PS5 will be added. You can now enable mono audio for your headphones so the same audio is played through both the left and the right headphone instead of stereo or 3D audio mix sounds. Uh, of course, I said this feature will provide an added option to enhance the PS5 audio experience, particularly for players who are, you know, having hearing issues or, you know, anything like that. Anything, you know, kind of that surrounds that. If you have hearing problems, some people are complaining about some of the audio issues, so maybe this will make it a little bit better for players that may have some hearing problems on the left or right side or just in general. Uh, of course, they also, you can now show a check mark on enable settings so you easily can see that they are turned on or off. Um, the way they have it now, the slider is not, to me, as good as it has been in the past. Uh, like on the PS4, I think the UI kind of look is not as good. So this check menu, uh, I think, or checking your options within the menus will be a lot better. Also, uh, this is going to be a voice command preview. This is going to be US and UK limited release. They're also testing a feature that enables voice commands for finding and opening games. You'll actually be able to talk to your PlayStation kind of like you would if you have a Alexa or a Google or Siri or something like that to let it find certain things. They said this will be just a preview in the US and UK. It will be limited releases. This may be something that comes out later down the road. It may not even be in this update when it comes out, but they are testing something, you know, of, of, of that kind of nature to, you know, have it for future updates as well. Of course, they kind of go on to say if you are selected to make sure you give them feedback to kind of help out with letting them understand if everything is working as intended. But I think this is going to be a pretty big update. I mean, the PS4, we all know, has updates usually, and we don't ever have any patch notes. The PS5 lately has had a lot of updates we haven't really had any patch notes for. It's just to build improvements and back-end kind of fixes. It seems like Sony is kind of uh, getting some good updates out this year for the PS5 and the PS4 both. It seems like there's more, of course, for the PS5, but that's kind of come to be expected, I guess, since it's the newer console. But overall, that new party system, or that old party system, I guess I should say, being added back in, I think it's going to be a big feature a lot of people really wanted to see and really will enjoy being added back to the consoles themselves. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.